Hey gang, and welcome to another Animal Crossing video. I'm Crossing Channel, and Animal Crossing New Horizons is still full of so many fun little secret details, hidden features, and more that I really love to learn about. I always find myself learning more and more about Animal Crossing New Horizons when I create these types of videos, so I wanted to make another going over 10 more secret details and features that you might have missed in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Let's see if we can learn something new about the game together and see what it has to offer. So, let's check this out. Number 1. Camping Crafting So when you invite a villager to your campsite via an amiibo card, you actually have to craft items for them if you want them to eventually move into your island. You have to do this three separate days in a row. Now a fun little detail about the items that you craft for these villagers within your campsite is that they'll actually put them on display. You might not have noticed this because most people don't tend to go back to the campsite once they've already crafted for the villager, but if you leave and come back in, you'll see that they've placed the item within their tent, so it doesn't just go into the void and completely disappear, which I think is a really nice detail. It goes to show that the villager actually really appreciated the item that you made for them, so it's good that they didn't take the time to just throw it away once I wasn't looking. I'm happy they displayed the item that I took the time to craft. Number 2. Sleepy Villagers now sometimes you just have to move a villager's house. It doesn't matter what time it is, it could literally be 3am, but you have to move their house. And there's actually a fun little detail that happens if you move a villager's house when they're asleep. They'll show up to resident services in their pajamas, which shows Tom Nook has literally made them come over in the middle of the night at their kind of expense just so you can move their house. Even though they were fast asleep, it's got to be done. What can you say? Bob has to come out here even though he's still in his pajamas and agree to allow me to move his house. I just thought this one was really funny and it's cute that they added it in rather than having them in their normal clothes when they would have been taken out of their bed so late at night. Number 2. Pumpkin Secret now, this one isn't so much of a hidden secret, but I feel like this is a common misconception that a lot of people seem to have about the pumpkins, and it's that you don't actually need to water them at all to have them grow. Now, there is some dialogue in the game that suggests you should be watering your pumpkins and keeping care of them, but you actually don't need to do anything with them if you want them to grow. Now, I believe that if you do water them, it might give you a better chance of growing more pumpkins at once, which is always a good idea, but once that's done, you don't need to touch your pumpkins again, you don't need to water them. I know a lot of people probably don't have pumpkins on their islands because Halloween is over, but I always recommend having them around because they do sell for a lot of bells and you never know when they might be needed as a crafting resource or for some kind of event. But yes, you don't actually need to do any maintenance with them at all, and they don't need to be watered even once to fully grow, so don't bother. Number 4. Creative Pitfall if you've ever been feeling really bored in Animal Crossing New Horizons and you just want to kind of mess around but you don't have any pitfalls on hand, you can pitfall yourself. All you need to do is dig a hole in front of a chair that you can jump off of and your character will fall into a very deep hole. I think this is really funny and it's a nice little detail that they don't just stop you from getting up, you do actually fall into the hole. It works the same as any other pitfall does in Animal Crossing New Horizons, you'll need to shake around a little bit if you want to get out faster, but your character will eventually get out themselves. So if you want to trick your friends and dig holes all around a chair, maybe when they go idle for a moment or something like that, this is something you can do to force them into getting pitfalled without falling for the little X on the ground. Number 5. Starting Villagers now, a lot of people seem to know about this one when the game came out, but it seems like something that isn't talked about nearly as much now. It's really interesting because every time you start Animal Crossing New Horizons, your two starting villagers will always have the personality of Jock and Sisterly. Every single time without fail, you can't get different personalities when you start up the game, which means you're kind of limited to a certain pool of villagers rather than having every single one be possible. Now, personally, I think this is a bit of a shame. In Animal Crossing New Leaf you start off with a much wider variety of villages, but I guess the goal in this game is to kind of build yourself up more and more. Still, there are a lot of really cool jock villages and sisterly villages to get, so it's fun seeing what combinations you can find when starting up your island. I wonder why they decided to do it like this, I honestly don't know, but it is a fun little detail that I wanted to mention. Number 6, The Dog House. Now there are a lot of interactive items in Animal Crossing New Horizons, and I really like this one. 
Now, in theory, it's honestly really strange because why is there a doghouse in Animal Crossing? It makes no sense why they would have that when we literally have dog villagers who have their own houses. But this is a pretty cool interactive item. You can click on it and it will actually growl as well as do this little red eye thing as well. So in a sense, it's actually kind of creepy and it's even more creepy given the fact that we do have dog villages in the game. But I guess there are also just pet dogs as well. I honestly don't know. It's incredibly strange. Animal Crossing makes no sense sometimes. Number seven, Cliff Hop. There is actually a way to jump off of cliffs in Animal Crossing New Horizons and it's probably not in the way you expected. Now, you can actually use a warp pipe to jump from a cliff onto the warp pipe and warp to a different area by pressing the A button. So technically you're not jumping off the cliff because you're kind of going straight into the warp pipe, but it does effectively work that way. As far as I know, there's no other way to jump off of a cliff. You can of course jump from one little pillar to another if it's, you know, one tile away. But this is basically the only way that you can jump off into something else. I really love the pipe feature. I think it was so unexpected, but I'm really glad they added it because it feels like we're always learning more things that you can do with it. I'd love to hear any other ideas that you have for the pipe in the comment section down below. Number eight, airline dialogue. Now on your first day of Animal Crossing New Horizons, you will not be able to use the airport. It is unavailable for us to use. That means that Orville will actually have his own special dialogue for you only on this day. You can only see this dialogue on your first day of gameplay, which is really interesting to me because then it's completely gone. There's no other time in the game that the airport is shut, so it's fascinating to me that this is the only time you can see it. Maybe in some kind of future event the airport will be closed, but for now this is basically the only time you can see it. I definitely miss a lot of things from the start of the game, it really makes me want to go back and replay, so maybe I'll have to do that at some point. Number 9, Spring Snowboy. Now if you still have a snowboy into spring when the snow finally melts, they won't be much too happy about this and you actually get some special dialogue from them about the springtime. Now it seems like they don't mind the spring too much even though they know they're about to die very soon which is kind of harrowing, but they talk about the summer and how they really don't like the idea of that. I thought it was cool that Nintendo thought this through and decided, yeah, you know what, we're gonna have some special dialogue for spring even though the snowboys literally can't be around that long throughout this season because they're gonna melt very soon. So it is cool to see how much special dialogue you can actually get in the game. I feel like there's just so much and I really love that about Animal Crossing New Horizons. Number 10, Clothing Dialogue. Now, there are so many different outfits in Animal Crossing New Horizons that you can wear from the Able Sisters, ones you can craft, and lots of them come with different themes. Something that's really interesting is you can get a ton of original dialogue depending on what outfit you wear. For example, if you wear the mermaid outfit, you'll get special dialogue, the pirate outfit, the ballerina outfit. You get special dialogue for so many outfits in the game, so it's always worth wearing something different and seeing what your villagers have to say about it. I think this is actually so interesting that I'm tempted to make a video about lots and lots of different special dialogue you can get when wearing different outfits. If you think that would be fun, definitely leave a comment down below to let me know and I'll consider making that video sometime soon. So those were 10 secret details and hidden features in Animal Crossing New Horizons that you might have missed. Let me know in the comments section down below how many of these you knew about yourself and if you have any of your own that you'd like to share as well. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to comment Bob's Gang down below so I know you did. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, it really helps support my content, and you can also subscribe and turn on channel notifications for more videos as well.